hello guys welcome to my channel i hope you all are doing well so in today's video i have a detailed recipe on how to make the most perfect and fluffiest um, couscous you have ever made so if you have been struggling with making couscous like i did in the past and ending up with a mushy or soggy one that looks like fufu look no further because today i have a recipe that you can never ever go wrong with so guys to start with i have my pot on the stove and it's already warm like yeah it's heated up so i added some olive oil I wish I had coconut oil because I'll be this is a coconut um couscous so it would have been perfect to have a coconut oil but I didn't have it so it's not a problem so I used olive oil I heated that up and I added my onion so I'm gonna stir that up and just fry for a bit <laughs> something is missing in this um, recipe I didn't have um, ginger and garlic at home. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure all of my subscribe, my hot subscribers will know that yes, they didn't see garlic and ginger in this recipe. Yeah, it's because I didn't have it at home. So I went ahead to had my uh, to had dry thyme and bay bay leaf. and then seasoning powder so i'm just going to allow that to fry for a bit and i'll stir that i'll just fry for like um two minutes or so just so the flavor of the onion can get into the oil so now I'll go ahead and add my carrots, my chopped carrots. I'll also fry that for a bit. I just love the colors the carrots brought to this. It's so beautiful. I'm so keen on colors. I don't know why when it comes to food. And here I have uh, my scotch bonnet. I didn't want to hide everything because I was too scared of this getting too hot because that scotch bonnet can be very, very hot sometimes. There is my spring onion. Guys, I'll have a detailed recipe on everything I use in the description box so you can go ahead and, and check that. <laughs> So I'll stir that for a bit also. And then this is my chopped mixed red pepper. I'm not going to pour in everything because on the side I was making stewed um, turkey that I'll be having with this. So I'll be using the rest of the Chopped red bell pepper for that. I'll stir that to get that fry for a bit. Then add in my sweet um, frozen corn. I just wanted this to have you know some vegetables that will make it look colorful so i stirred that together and allowed that to fry for you so yeah guys here is where the recipe is going to start so guys in making couscous the amount of liquid 
or water you're going to be using will be equal to the amount of couscous you are going to use. I don't know if that makes sense. So now, anything you are putting, so long as it's in liquid form, will count as will count as water. So now, you know, I added one cup, uh, one can of um, coconut milk. So that will count as one cup. So you, if you notice, now I went in with my chicken broth and then water. If you notice, I am using the same can. This is because I don't want to like make a mistake by using another cup just so the water will not be excess i don't know yeah it's just so the water will not be because you want to be very very careful if the water is too much then you end up with a soggy couscous so you want to make sure you are putting the right amount of liquid to the same amount of couscous so here's the trigger. If you make your couscous this way, I promise you, you will never ever go wrong. So here I am, after adding that and um, three cans of liquid, which includes the coconut milk, my chicken broth, and then one cup of uh, one can of water. So I tasted it and just to see if the seasoning was okay, and I covered it. So guys, and I allowed this to come to a boil. Now that this has come to a boil guys very important i said that together you want to completely turn off the heat from the stove you want to completely turn off the heat from the stove couscous does not need to be cooked only the water that has come to a boil is enough to cook it and if you can see i am still using the same can to measure my couscous just so to get the right measurement and i measured three cans of couscous so remember by now i have already turned off the heat and i pour in my three cans of couscous i'll just cover that and remove it completely from the stove i'm going to remove that completely from and cover for like five minutes so after five minutes our couscous is ready so guys, here is the recipe you have been looking for. If you have been struggling with making couscous, here is your recipe. And remember guys, you can adjust your vegetable. It doesn't have to be this way. You can make your couscous using only water and have it with a sauce or something. And you have your salad of vegetables by the side. So all you just need to do is make it, bring your water come to a boil you had your couscous you cover it for five minutes not more than five minutes because it's going to be soggy so guys if you enjoyed this um this video i want to say thank you very much and um yes how i enjoyed mine with a side of um salad and my steel turkey i mentioned earlier that i was making and it was really, really delicious, especially with the coconut milk in it. So, guys, I want to say thank you very much. If you enjoyed this recipe, please give me a thumbs up. Put your comments. I want to read your comments. I love to read you guys' comments. Thank you very much. And if you are new here, be sure to subscribe and turn on the notification bell. So, so that you can see whenever I upload a new video. So, guys. From here, I want to say thank you very much for always, always returning to watch my video. And if you are new here, you are welcome. Bye, guys. Until I see you in my next one.